Hello English 10, this is Mrs. Long and we are beginning today Unit 6, Session 2. I hope you guys are staying warm on this nice cold morning or whenever you're accessing it. As a side note, on Tuesday afternoon I almost sent my kids to school in a t-shirt and I'm very glad I didn't. Well, Colorado winter has returned. So today we are beginning to look at persuasion um, for political purposes. So you're going to navigate to Unit 6, Session 2, and we will be looking at persuasion there. Um, this is political power. This is about the stuff that influences your lives and your ability to buy a home or the economy. These are the policies and the rules and the laws that dictate education issues. Um, and they, these are hashed out through political purposes. A lot of times what we end up with is not necessarily what's best for people, but who is best at persuading. The uh, cartoon here in the welcome page reminds me of a little game my kids downloaded on my phone, Obama versus Romney, a little slingshot game. It really is a, a, an area where there's a lot of debate, a lot of contention. And so being able to get to fact in the midst of all of the persuasion is really important. Being able to, welc to recognize that persuasion is what enables you to get to that fact. So in this lesson, you are going to first look at some political persuasion from the past you will go on to poli perceive political power, a little bit of an introduction here, and you're going to look at some persuasion from the past. You will begin by opening a document that is the document you're going to submit, and then look at persuasion techniques, things like name calling, glittering generalities, euphemism, transfer, and then as a look at political persuasion from the past in World War II and World War I, um, there's some good stuff about Uncle Sam. Then look at some political persuasion in our time with some videos, home stretch hair razors, uh, Obama's drug use political ad, and some other ads that you'll find at the bottom of your page, some different debate uh, excerpts that show different appeals. You will sub get all of that information submitted on, in, on one piece of paper or one piece of one document and submit that in this part of the lesson. Um, from there you're going to look at a very famous speech that did influence politics, that did influence lives and that is the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King. And so you're going to be an analyzing that to figure out what kinds of techniques he used that made his speech so memorable, so powerful, and so influential in the form of the Civil Rights Act of 1974. Um, you can first read the speech here and then listen to it. I'd recommend that you go through it several times before completing the worksheet, the I Have a Dream speech analysis. And you can then submit that on the next page. And that's an additional assignment that's due this week. And in the last assignment for the week is a discussion board. This one is not optional. I've made a couple of optional ones lately as a chance to give you a chance to catch up. Um, this one is not optional. I would like for you to uh, post your reflections on Martin Luther King's speech. A couple of powerful words or phrases, why you chose those, and then respond to other people. And that's it for the week. Um, I will point out the recommended schedule at the beginning of this session, and that is that you spend a couple of days uh, looking at the first assignment, the perceived political power. There's a lot of videos involved in that. And post on the discussion board by Friday. Then begin the second assignment, the Deconstructed Dream, the Martin Luther King speech on Monday and Tuesday, and go back to that discussion board and add some responses for other people. So that's it. Uh, next week you will be taking TCAP. Just put that in your thinking. You may want to start on the big project in session three as of Friday. It'll be available. Um, if you have any issues with wrapping up assignments from the previous week or any other concerns, please be in touch. I do really very much value the time it takes for you to send me an email or to get in touch with me. So that's it. Have yourselves a great week and stay warm.